Hey guys, I'm Lucy Walker and we're going to be looking at making a delicate flower ring. We're also going to have an impressive collection of stackable bands with a couple of the most common screw ups. Screw up number one. Screw up number two. Just bend a little on the end. You've got a lovely heart shape. Alrighty, screw up number four. You definitely need a reasonable amount of hand strength. Maybe Lenny had something to do with it. And our fingers are one of the best tools that we have because they don't leave any marks. Well, like magic. When done correctly, are freaking strong. It will cause destruction and carnage on an inconceivable scale. So if you did spend plenty of time sanding that and making it perfect, then we can move on to the next step. If you didn't, you're very naughty, go back to sanding. But look how bloody nice and shiny that's getting. If you are lucky enough to have one of these bad boys, ring stick, ring, hammer, perpendicular to the ring. Go raid your dad's garage, your uncle's garage, steal what you can, and just beat the crap out of some rings. You can even put a line around the center as well, and make it look like a chocolate bar. And there we go. There are no limits. The only limits are your imagination. This really cheap as chips, shit ass hammer. I really want you to go crazy with the textures here. Pop the flower back in. Just heating everything and blop. Oh, look at them dancing. Now, I'm not a massive fan of overly complicated, crazy soldering setups. And there we go. So, let's make it shiny. And I think we're gonna be looking pretty damn good. So enough waffle from me, go out and do it. <laughs>